day four. Got up and went to the onsen. Pretty nice. You get to see all of that in the onsen. A lot of forest, a lot of bamboo. Um, yeah. <laughs> Sit in hot water in the morning. Can't tell if I'm super relaxed from or not. <laughs> Not gonna lie, the water looks a little murky here. That looks more like it's either overchlorinated or it's like sewer. We were just there last year. And up there last year too. like three hours for that one picture at that shrine. Marking up this plus a hot dog. So $15 for a small hot dog, a small pasta, and a small coffee. Hakone, very different. Found the receipt. I feel always very sleepy after going to an onsen. I don't know why. I don't think it's that. I think I'm just like dehydrated or something. Hmm. The museum had it for 100 yen and you get a refund, so it's free. Over here it's 400. And also. <laughs> It's a thousand ten for each. Damn, Japan has gotten so expensive. What the heck happened? Okay, we're touristy area. Okay. Well, largest suspension bridge in all of Japan. Really? Yep. It's four hundred meters. Well, here it is, Mount Fuji. A lot less cloudy than last year. No, but it's still here. It's not fully fully covered. <laughs> oh, really cool. Now for the actual walk. Huh. It's kind of neat. Whoa. <laughs> nice atmospheric walk. It's also a suspension bridge so you can kind of like bounce a little and the bridge moves with you. Higher time, you gotta keep checking out Mount Fuji. Kinda tall. It's hard to tell where the water is coming from. You don't really get to see it at all. There's water somewhere though. <laughs> I like this view much better. Oh, you could see it. There's a small stream of water. This entire experience costs 1,100 yen each person. 
Well, technically this is an entire park, so we're gonna go over there, see what's there, but the entrance to this area was already 1,100 yen. It's kind of pricey, not gonna lie. But it's pricey for like Japan standards. In Canada, I gladly pay $11 to come to a sky bridge like this. Yeah, and you can also see the suspension rings on the sides as well. <sighs> Neat. And of course, at the end, we can see how many trees you had to cut down to make this area viable. They gave us a discount card after getting this, so... It's blue because of something. <laughs> yeah, food coloring. <laughs> Well, I got suckered in. Oh, the discount is only 50 yen if you're asking. Mm -hmm. So we pay $9 for <laughs> soft serve. This bridge is kind of expensive. How is it? it tastes like ice cream. That's an ice cream, all right. Expensive ice cream. The monkey? Monkey. There's a monkey in here too? Oh. So majestic you are. <laughs> Mischievous. You are tiny. Thumb for reference. I don't know. I don't think he likes me. Thumb for reference. Oh, You're huge. That's how big he actually is. Looks like you're trying to talk to me. Why is it always the small ones that look like the most aggressive? Whoa! Too much to play. Aren't monkeys social creatures? Mm. Just by himself. But he's naughty. If you were kept in the cage all by yourself with no other of your kind around, I think I'd go crazy.
Mount Fuji will magically disappear and then reappear if you go past the bridge. Ta-da! It's kind of stunning. Well, yeah, you could also zip line across this entire thing if you wanted to. It's kind of freaky to just look straight down. I don't know. Are you freaked out? No. All right. Well, we're almost at the end. So one last look. Gorgeous view. Fuji. Nice. By the way, we're going up there tomorrow, so. Or not up there, up there. But we're going up near the area. Beautiful. Glad we came here when we did. Didn't check this out earlier, but. You can like see both the bridge and Mount Fuji in this picture. Wow, this is amazing. They have escalators. I see, tax free. Sky Garden's really a sky shop. Pretty area to just get a coffee, I guess. Anyhow, we're done. We're gonna go to Airbnb, chill a little bit. Maybe hit up another onsen. I don't know. the bus and on to the way to your Airbnb and everything closes at Hakone Moto around 5 p.m. so we're trying to scramble to see if we can shop a little bit or find food before everything shuts down or we can eat losses for dinner which honestly would be fine. Looks really cool. That's a nice view, even when there is no sun.